Hello babes, so welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new what I eat in a day Um, little update on my weight loss journey. I mentioned in a vlog which I seriously was dying because people have been asking for a weight loss update The update is that I've gained two pounds So I guess you can say the entire span of when everything started until now basically because everything's open um, I maintained my weight and then just at the end I gained a little bit of weight I feel like this last shutdown really just got to me it doesn't sound like a lot to probably people who are watching this but i'm five foot one you guys and i feel every little tiny little bit of weight that i gained so i'm actually waiting for an instacart order because i was missing a bunch of things in my fridge but i still want to go to farm boy you guys so every little bit of weight even though two pounds does not sound like a lot to most people if you're five feet yeah you know it and let me tell you something when i lose five pounds oh my god my body shows it like i mean my goal is 130 and i was at 137 i was looking at my photos you guys when i was 127 i was like girl like i personally for my body shape i'm very curvy and i am pretty thick at the bottom and that never really changes for my body shape i started to get like the sunken eyes over here like i lose a lot of weight in certain areas where other people might be different right so it was my absolute thinnest i've ever been it was a very confident stage for me because i would put things on that were like size four and i wasn't like concerned about my side handles and like my stomach and like are my legs flabby like i will say there was a lot of things that came with being 127 that made me feel very free i just feel like i'm at the stage where i'm accepting things whereas before i was like oh thank god that's not showing oh thank god that's not showing i'm also of course rooting for all of you if you have gained 5 10 15 20 25 pounds whatever it is you know that you have the knowledge to lose it so instead of beating yourself up because i know it's a lot to swallow don't get me wrong like i know that feeling i know what you're feeling and you know what to do so now it's up to you right you got yourself there so now it's up to you to will yourself back my number one massive tip is do it in small increments don't go to the gym four or five times a week if you haven't been to the gym in like a freaking year i would not suggest that i just feel like people do that and then they're like oh my god i can't keep up with it and then instead of going from four to five to two to three they're like i can't do it and then they go zero days so you see what i mean go one day a week do 40 minutes 30 minutes okay do you feel good for a few weeks okay go twice a week do it slowly you guys i'm telling you right now I've mentioned it a million times, I don't care how long my journey is. I feel like for the rest of my life, I'm always going to be like, gain a little bit, maybe lose, gain a little bit, maybe lose. That's just me being like, I can let myself go for these months. And then other months, maybe I want to be on a weight loss journey. Like, it is what it is, you guys. Like, if you are new, though, welcome to my channel. I do these videos, but I also do a ton of vlogging on my channel. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure you guys subscribe. Also, click the bell so you guys get notified for all my brand new videos. And I'll put my IG right over here. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for my Instacart. And honestly, I was going to go and grab my Starbucks. But I'm like, oh, my God, this is the perfect time. Because I do like the outing. I like, like, I can make my Starbucks at home, by the way, with my DeLonghi Dedica. Oh, my God, you guys, I figured it out. It's so fire. Let's make my Starbucks at home. If you guys want to see a dedicated video on this, let me know um, because I'm just going to kind of go through this quickly. So this is Starbucks ground espresso. This is their dark rose, not their blonde. Their blonde is disgusting. I hate it so much. It tastes like burnt sugar, whereas this is like a creamy caramel note to it. You can get them to grind the coffee beans for you at Starbucks. And then I grab my distributor. It's really evenly will distribute it and like kind of flatten it out. I'll do a little tamp. So this tamper actually came free with my um with my machine. I've been loving this machine, you guys. Like definitely recommend. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. And I can link all my accessories that I bought because this did not come with this. Um, it came with its own, but I changed the porta filter to be my own. Um, so now I'm gonna do a double espresso, which is this button right over here, so it can give me a double espresso. <laughs> I grab my cup over here and the Monin um, white chocolate mocha sauce. So I make sure that it just kind of like covers the bottom. Sugar free vanilla actually that I purchased from Starbucks. It's kind of like low right now. I also have this little guy over here you guys. It's like my little drip kind of cup. 
this is what the espresso looks like i'll show you guys like oh my god you are just gorgeous aren't you swirl so that the the foam that comes with the espresso is kind of mixed in i'll give that a little mix with my straw so you're mixing the syrup and also melting the white mocha this is the oat milk that starbucks uses as their oat um, pretty high in calories so sometimes what i'll do you guys a little splash of my like lower calorie one i'm actually gonna fill up the cup with ice because i get extra ice starbucks at home baby she said i'm not paying ten dollars for coffee a day from starbucks me thinking of another joke she said my ice is better than you so some days if i want it like more milky more sweet more bitter i can do that Whereas like explaining that to them, like it's kind of like explaining like how you get to space, you know what I mean? You use a, a spaceship. But it's not that easy, you know? It's so funny, he messaged me and he's like, I hope I can give you five star service today. And I'm like, as long as you follow the special instructions when you get to my door. I always tell him to leave by the door and to not knock so that like I can just open the door and like grab it. I'm gonna put one egg to boil inside of here with water. I made granola bars and oh my god, they were so good for when I wanted something like kind of sweet. I am gonna be measuring it with you guys today so that we can know how much each bar is approximately. One tablespoon flax, uh, not flax, chia seeds. So flax, these are just rolled oats by the way. So one, two, three, four, Five. One tablespoon of peanuts, chopped peanuts, obviously. One tablespoon chopped almonds, some chocolate chips. So one tablespoon, put two tablespoons. See, this is why, this is why I don't like peanut butter. One tablespoon of peanut butter. And then I like to use agave. Don't judge me for putting this inside of here. It's not your agave syrup, so you don't have to worry about it. Only I do, okay? I like to use agave over honey. See, it didn't even go inside there. Like it didn't, no peanut butter was put inside there. Actually, a little bit was. One tablespoon of that, and I'm gonna see if this is enough. This is like the glue. I obviously you put these in the fridge so that they can like kind of combine and harden so that they're not floppy when you're eating them. But I would say after day two, they were such a nice like firmness. Again, don't judge me. Okay. This looks good. This is what it should look like. Like it should be wanting to kind of pack because that's what you're going to be doing to the granola bars. A small container over here. I like to line it with parchment, you guys, because then you can easily lift it up. So now you're just going to press. And what this is really is a mold for you. You know what I mean? This container. But that's what they look like. And I just pulled this out of our fridge. If this is what it ends up looking like. I'm going to cut it into granola bar shapes. It does need more time to get hard, but what I like to do, and I forgot to tell you guys, is cut it into the shape that you want because when it hardens, it's already going to be in that shape. Like, how perfect is that? Your own granola bars, and you can put whatever it is that you want inside of there. So I'm going to let this sit inside the fridge for another day, but that's basically our homemade granola bars. So this is the toast we're going to be using for the bread that we're going to be using for breakfast. This is the ancient grains. I'm pretty sure I've had this bread before because this... Country Harvest, this sounds too familiar. One slice is 100 calories. Oh, look how gorgeous she is, oh my God. I'm only gonna be needing half of this. So I like to season the avocado with some salt and I also like to season it with some black pepper. We're gonna mix it. Okay, so we have our toast. We're gonna put our avocado down. I like when the center is like still, like the yolk is wet. This is exactly how I like my egg do tiny bit of salt in that egg and then you guys suggested this to me like months ago finally got it and you put a bunch of that on top because i love this everything seasoning and that's what we're having for breakfast you guys it's perfect breakfast that looks small but it's packed with things okay so we are gonna get ready with lunch um a little bit early because i kind of just want to prep everything it's 12 30 right now and we are cooking with HelloFresh for at lunchtime. Thank you so much, HelloFresh, for sponsoring it today's video. I love them so much, you guys. I've worked with them multiple, multiple times. So I think you guys can tell I really love them. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of HelloFresh, but if you haven't, they're literally a meal delivery company. A HelloFresh box comes right to your door with all the meals that you guys chose. 
and also the ingredients inside are pre-labeled pre-measured for you every single week there's a whole new menu to choose from they have something for everybody as well whether you're vegetarian pescatarian and they actually have this new summer series you guys basically a bunch of recipes that help you kind of like avoid the oven since it's like super hot outside help you enjoy the grill there's like these farm fresh sides that you guys can choose from also each meal comes with a recipe card that has six easy steps that you guys will follow it comes with pictures but also text and their meals are cooked between 20 to 30 minutes you guys they have a bunch of recipes on their menu that actually take only 20 minutes so if that's something you're looking for they also have that I can't recommend them enough you guys I actually made something yesterday it was Cajun chicken with mashed potatoes I tried so many new ingredients from them that I used to say oh I don't like that or I would never cook with that or eat that and that Cajun chicken I'm gonna show you guys footage because I had to film it for you guys and show you I was blown away every single recipe I cook from them I'm literally blown away I don't even know which recipe to choose today because I have two pizzas to choose from and I know they're both gonna be amazing so I just don't know which one I want they're so easy to use if you guys are kind of stuck on what to cook or if you're not really comfortable in the kitchen their recipes and their instructions and how it ends up looking is really gonna make you extra confident in the kitchen because it's just that damn easy like i promise you guys they really take out the stressful meal planning and prepping and you guys don't have to think about what you have to go grab at the grocery store spend another half an hour to an hour there at the grocery store i just like the fact that they have these new meals that i've never tried out before i literally pick the different ones that i don't like i wouldn't typically cook at home and i'm telling you you guys they blow you away so make sure you guys try them out there's basically no waste with food you guys because everything in the bag is pre-portioned for you so basically you're using every single thing that is inside that bag if you guys are kind of stuck in a rut you don't know what to cook or you have never tried a meal delivery service I definitely recommend them it saves me a ton of time you guys I'm constantly doing something to do with work or I just kind of want to enjoy my day and not have to do all the meal prepping and planning that can take hours sometimes I've never worked with pizza dough before really? yes you see that right there watch yourself you want to hear something else that's funny I don't have a rolling pin so hmm, I actually put some olive oil it says to roll it out but I'm telling you I don't have um, I don't have a rolling pin so okay so our dough is put into these two oval shapes you all know I don't play with my garlic so we're gonna be putting a whole ton of garlic on here because you know this is a vegetarian meal uh, I love paneer. Paneer I only knew about through HelloFresh. Like I said, they just always teach me all these new things and new ingredients. And this is smelling so good. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this. I'm a huge fan, by the way, of Indian food. Also turned on my oven to uh, bake at 400 so that I can get that kind of nice and hot so we can cook this up tried this mixture on the side just by itself and oh my god oh man i love indian food so damn much i can't even tell you guys I'm just going to put a little bit of each by the way a little tip to kind of um lower down the calories i didn't use the full can of coconut milk i make those little tiny adjustments when i'm cooking it says like one tablespoon of oil i don't do that i'll use like my spray bottle so these are ready to go inside of our oven i'm so excited i'll show you guys once they're done look at that beautiful color on top too so i ended up adding the cashews halfway as well as some of the red onion so i ended up grabbing some of my yogurt and i put a little bit of the red onion and some of the cilantro just as like a little garnish i felt like it would be the most perfect dipping sauce for this pizza and i'm really used to having like a dipping sauce and then we're gonna grab our cilantro i love cilantro so much and this is a vegetarian meal sometimes i love my vegetarian meals because it makes me feel good that i'm not having meat with that specific meal so excited you're probably wondering i wonder if she ate the leftover of the sauce while the camera was off no no i didn't when your mom asked you as a kid did you have all the chocolate chip cookies and the pan is empty i ate it okay it was really good like i'm sorry actually i'm not i'm not sorry that bite was perfect because i got the bread the sauce the yogurt the cilantro the cashew and the paneer watch this out oh my god you guys this pizza is so good Oh my god, and the bread is amazing. And it's vegetarian. I'm very passionate about food, you guys, so it almost seems like I'm like upset. 
this pizza is unbelievable. I would have never made, there's no way I would have made this at home. Like, no way. Mm, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So if you guys do want to try them out, all you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com, use my code stephmacedo14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. If you guys try them out, let me know. You guys can DM me on IG or you guys can let me know down below in this video. Please try them out if you guys have never tried them. And then thank me later. Thank you so much HelloFresh again for another amazing meal. I'm just going to make a cilantro pizza. I figured that we would start up dinner. I have been feeling tilapia because I actually had it at Red Lobster when we were in Niagara. So I ended up getting these frozen ones. I read that if you cook fish that's like frozen, like pre-frozen, that it kills all the parasites that might be in it. So I'm like, okay, frozen it is. I have my oven on broil on 500. And I just have a sheet on at my pan over here. And I'm gonna put some olive oil at the bottom. Don't mind my dirty stove because I've been cooking all day for you guys. And I don't have any beef broth, so I'm actually putting a little bit of this brown gravy packet, but just a little bit, not a lot. And I'm actually going to be using parboiled rice, which is basically partially boiled rice. Um, it also takes less time to cook, so I'm going to add that in there. And I've just put salt in here as well, and we're just going to let this guy cook. Um, olive oil over top you guys. I love that spray bottle because you're not putting like a whole bunch a little bit of butter I actually have a low calorie like plant vegan butter. I've also Cut up some uh, garlic. Oh my god. This is gonna be so good. We're gonna sprinkle some salt with black pepper dried Parsley that I'm gonna put over top so for this broccoli kind of thing that I'm doing, you guys, I have some butter in here. I would say like a full tablespoon. For this, I want it to be super small, almost like the broccoli has been like shredded in a way. Or add that inside of our bowl over here with our butter. I have some shredded cheese. I'm just going to like finely chop it so, because I really want it to melt. I'm going to add this inside of here too. Add a little bit more olive oil. Salt or else it's not going to be seasoned and you're gonna add black pepper no I'm just like craving this and make sure you spread that butter even though it's gonna melt but just kind of spread it so I'm gonna wait for our fish to be like pretty I would say like halfway and then we're just gonna remove it put this over top and then put it back inside of the oven to show you guys the rice turned out absolutely perfect so that's kind of a tip if you guys don't have beef broth and you kind of want that beef flavor Put it onto our plates. Ooh, you see that fresh lemon wedge on the side? Okay, let's not forget this broccoli. And I have a fresh lemon wedge over here because fish is so fire with some lemon. And this is what I'm going to have for dinner, you guys. Those rice, so simple, but so fire. Mmm, that's really good. I'm not gonna lie, my tilapia is more tasty than the red lobster one. Is it letting you see that? Okay. Mmm. This is exactly what I was craving. You ever crave something so specific? Okay, y'all. That's basically it for this wedding today. If you guys love these videos and love this video in particular, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. Ooh, that? This is good. <laughs> this? This right here? Mmm. If you guys want to see more, let me know down below. Leave your thoughts. Leave when you guys leave me comments. I try to get back to every single person. And I really, really, really appreciate it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe if you have not. So that you guys can not miss any new What Eat In A Days. Come into the channel and also click the bell. So you guys get notified for all my new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.